Hey y'all, so this is going to be the uh, first in a series of videos I'm going to be making. So this is my late stage prototype China Lake grenade launcher for either paintball, airsoft, or tagging grenades. And um, just wanted to show it off here. So I have an adjustable sight here made up. Right now it's taped up because the uh, I'm missing the screw in for this piece. But it is fully adjustable for windage. So it can be used for tag-ins. Like actually like using for... Uh, lobbing those grenades uh, over arcing projectiles. So the um, good thing about my launcher is it actually works and it, uh, it's able to feed either, <laughs> there goes the tag in, but it either feeds bell shaped like paintball launching rounds and it even works with tag in rounds. I've made it to where it can accept both and it fires both of them pretty uh, reliably. And I'll be showing that here in a minute, but uh, as you can see, it's very long and very heavy as well. Even though this is most of it's just um, PLA constructed, it's, uh, I don't know, I haven't weighed it yet. It's probably at least four, five pounds. And I got to put a uh, butt stock on it and work on the trigger group here. But um, besides that, the uh, pump works flawlessly and the uh, chamber opens up. I'm not going to show the internals too much because I, uh, I don't want to, I created this design all by myself for the internals and I don't want those being uh, stolen. So just for privacy, just for now, I'm going to keep that to myself. But um, yeah, I'll show you all a test fire here in a second. So for this launcher, I've actually been working on it since 2014, late 2013. And this has been a, a dream project of mine to get finished. And uh, it's nice to see that it's finally coming along here pretty well. And uh, there's a little bit more to sight. So. Sorry for the uh, amateur camera work here, but I'm just by myself, just made it last minute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, test fire of a tagging grenade here at a, um, a little, I don't know if it's polyurethane, but a little pink sheet of foam. It's pretty durable actually, so it makes for a good simple target. So we're gonna try uh, uh, just a little t test shot at that. All right, let's go ahead and try that again. Like I said, this is a bit finicky right now, but once I get it all fully assembled, it'll be, uh, functioning a lot better. So I got the internals working where it, it pumps properly and it feeds the ammunition in. So, and it does it reliably. So right now it's more of my priority, but in my updates, I'll be showing you the uh, full gun functionally uh, pumping and firing. But for now, we're just gonna do a test shot with this tag in here and three, two, one, if I can get it angled right. Show you the grenade ejecting here. All right, and now I'll show you the uh, shell ejection here. So you're gonna go ahead and I have the pump removed just for now. I still gotta attach those two parts together. So you just pump back. Oh, it's a little bit stuck. Let's use. I'm gonna use a 40 millimeter grenade to help me unclog this. So pump and springs are a little bit weak. I still gotta work on that, but um. Once I do, it'll be functioning a lot better here soon. Because with these, they eject them really hard. So, I actually, let me go ahead and show you that real fast. Last grenade for today. Aim, fire. I had to move because my phone was dying, but here we go. We have the uh, China Lake by itself. So we're gonna go ahead and try to load three rounds in just to show you how that works. That's better. So we have one round, two rounds. There we go. And I'm, I gotta help it along here a little bit, so. So we have one ghost loaded right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and this one come up. There we go. I had to help it along here a little bit, but now we got one in the chamber, one ghost loaded, and one in the magazine here. So we're gonna go ahead and help this one along here. Uh, come on. There we go. Maybe. There we go. So then you would go boom, fire. And then you'd eject this one like so. 
I don't have a spring in the ejector, so that's why it's not gripping, gripping onto them very well. So then you'd have your second round go up. And you would push the breech forward as such. Fire, boom. And you would, um, <clears throat> sorry, I gotta readjust this here. Nothing is really screwed in. I'm just kind of holding it together just to show you the uh, concept of the gun here. You pump it back. See, it's wanting to come out, but come on. There we go. And last grenade. <laughs> Whoops. But you get the gist here. So still a little bit problematic. I'm still working on it, but eventually what i want to be able to do is get these where i can uh, manufacture them and sell them to y'all so still in the works about that it's going to take a little bit of time especially since i'm going into the navy here in four days so i'm going to be gone for a little bit but, uh, eventually i do want to get these sold to either fire tagging rounds or paintball slash airsoft grenades and uh yeah that's all i got for you for now